In this IBM BPM tutorial, we will learn about the toolkits. Toolkit is a very important concept in IBM BPM. Almost every new project uh, which we develop using the BPM, we will create a separate toolkit. So we will discuss about what is the toolkit, what is the importance of the toolkit, and we will also create toolkit. We will also import the existing toolkit and uh, we will refer the toolkit in our existing business process. So now let's first understand what is the toolkit. Okay. Right. Toolkit. Uh, normally, if you see in any type of projects, whether you create project in Java or any other language, there are some library files, some files which you think it could be reusable in your code what the normally we do we keep it separate okay so that uh, other projects can also use those files okay we call in other term is called as a library file for BPM applications BPM processor okay fine so if you see over here let me just explain you Okay, so we have got multiple processes over here in my BPM environment. Okay, now uh, I am currently working on Blue Shield, Blue uh, Health uh, business process, and I designed some components. Okay, now in my own in my company, some other people, some other group, they are using some other business process. Okay, now few components which I created, it could be reusable for the other team okay so what I will do at that moment I will create the toolkit because toolkit is a library means anything which could be reused I will create a toolkit and I will put all those components whether it could be a business object or it could be a human service it could be an integration service almost uh, or whether it could be the complete process itself okay what I will do I will put all these things to the toolkit the other business process will not have direct access to my to uh, business process but they will be having access to the toolkit okay so what so if they want to use my component they can import toolkit and they can use these components okay so basically come back over here what is toolkit toolkit is a library file for bpm processes okay which helps to share BPM objects okay between different BPM process applications okay few things okay uh, toolkit suppose let's discuss like this uh, suppose there is a process a okay and what i have done and there is a toolkit i created a okay now and uh, we i have like multiple processes over here let me just put it this component here okay so this is the process a process b and process C okay these three processes currently using toolkit A means whatever the reusable component all these three processes are putting in this toolkit A now there is another process process D okay now process D wants to use the component which are developed by A B and C okay so what they will do because all these components are there in toolkit a process d will import this toolkit a and it will get all the components and remember any uh, if any other process import any toolkit that toolkit will be read only means they can use those components okay but they cannot change the, those components okay and th that thing should be there because these are the a b and c processes which have developed those objects okay so these people should be allowed to 
change those components. So I can from the process D, I can import toolkit, I can I can use those components, but I cannot change. Okay, fine. So let's create a toolkit, then we will understand more. So okay. For my blue shield, uh, this data integrity process, okay, I am going to create a toolkit and let's uh, create a new toolkit over here and I am giving as a data integrity toolkit, give some acronym over here, data inti, okay. So if you want to this toolkit is made for data integrity business process okay fine create the toolkit so it came over here so if you open the toolkit it almost look like say business process instance only okay so here you can see process user interface so if it almost looks like as a uh, business process okay now what happens as I told you I am working in Bluefield Blue Health app and few business objects okay normally if you see any such components as I told you which could be reused across multiple processes we will put in the toolkit okay so now I feel the business objects which I created in data integrity process those business object could be reused by some other business process okay so what I will do I will just put all these components in the toolkit okay data integrity toolkit okay okay now these business objects are available in toolkit so it's not only business objects in fact any object whether it's a decisions whether it's a integration services suppose someone wants to uh, use my calculator web service so what I can do just uh, go over here copy item to data integrity toolkit along with that calculator web service fine now if you go to toolkit and if you see over here these objects you will find over there so now if you see all the business objects are copied over here and if you come to the integration service and web service which I copied those things are also there in the toolkit now suppose from other process app I want to use these business objects so what you need to do go to snapshot take snapshot in toolkit so I will just make over here data integrity 1.0 okay fine the snapshot is created come over here and suppose in some other process let's say HR recruitment process I want to use the same business objects okay so if you come over here you will not see at first no business objects what you need to do come here in the toolkits plus and check out the toolkits which you have created data integrity 1.0 okay so you have imported the toolkit which you have created okay now if you go to data still I'm not seeing any data but if you are if you suppose going to create a business object okay and let me create a sample BO and this sample BO I want to be a type of intake BO okay so if I want to be a type of intake BO if there is no toolkit I had to create the request BO I had to create the requester BO and then I had to create an intake BO and then I had to make the intake BO type but here if you see select and you can see over here intake BO and this intake BO is coming from data integrity toolkit okay so okay so similar way 
uh, anyhow uh, what i want the coach view which i created in the blue blue health blue shield process i want those coach view to be reused in other processes so what i need to do i will i will go over here in the process app blue shield health app and come over here and go to your user interface and copy items to data integrity toolkit and here if you go to data integrity toolkit okay now if you see you can see your use uh, coach view over here but this coach view other cannot reuse okay for that what you need to do again you have to take another snapshot okay and make as a data integrity 2.0 okay come over here and now let's go to some other process hr recruitment process and you want to use those coach view so those coach view will be available to you okay now how you can do create a human service sample human service drag a coach sample coach view save and before that because these coach views are available in version 2.0 so you have to upgrade this dependency to 2.0 okay so now you have update, updated now if you go to coaches okay you can see the intake coach view and review coach view okay so now if you try to run this also okay you can see if the coach view is present this coach view i did not create in this process app okay that is the uh, hr recruitment process this coach view is coming from the another business process how it's coming because from that business process i kept all those objects to the toolkit and here i gave the reference uh, of this business process to that toolkit okay fine so toolkit is a very very important concept okay so this is the way you can create a toolkit you can push object to the toolkit and from other process you can also give reference to the and to the toolkit okay now in future suppose you want to import any toolkit like suppose someone has created some toolkit so i want to import that toolkit so that all those business objects will be ready, readily available in my bpm environment okay so okay so come over here import toolkit and go to browse and here you have to select the toolkit okay and once you will select and click on the okay button the same way the we import the process app similar way you can import the toolkit also okay fine so from this option create new toolkit and import toolkit 